Poverty is a glaring reality in our society today. As many as 30% of the Philippine population, or roughly 30 million Filipinos, live below a very low poverty line. And several millions more are just barely surviving and are always at risk of falling into poverty anytime. But we've been living with them for so long that we've become accustomed to having them around, that we no longer see them. Hindi natin napapansin, ah, wala tayong pakialam. Pero may pakialam ang Diyos. He knows what the poor go through, and He cares about them. And God wants us to care about them as well. Jesus wants us to care about them to the point that He equated serving the poor to serving Him. In the Gospel according to Matthew, Jesus told the parable about what judgment day will be like. And this is what he said about what we do for the poor. Then the king will say to those on his right, Come, you who are blessed by my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry, and you gave me food. I was thirsty, and you gave me drink. I was a stranger, and you welcomed me. I was naked, and you clothed me. I was sick, and you visited me. I was in prison, and you came to me. Then the righteous will answer him, saying, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you, or thirsty and give you drink? And when did we see you a stranger and welcomed you, or naked and clothed you? And when did we see you sick or in prison and visit you? And the king will answer them, Truly I say to you, as you did it to one of the least of these brothers, you did it to me. If you will read the Bible, both in the, in the Old and the New Testaments, you will read again and again how God wants his people to show compassion to the poor. Jesus himself has so much compassion for the poor. He, he personally fed the hungry. He healed the sick and showed mercy to the poor. And given this, Jesus said that those who serve the poor are in effect serving Him. What we do to the poor is something that we do to Jesus directly. And for that, Jesus will reward us accordingly in due time. So, let us do whatever we can to help those who are poor among us. We do not have to, to help the 30 million poor Filipinos all over the country. You only have to help the one that is within your reach. Uh, perhaps uh, your next door neighbor who is desperate to, to feed their children. Or perhaps your, your house helper who needs a little raise. Or they can be your employees who are working for many years at minimum wage. Or it can be that homeless child across the street. And as you do whatever you can for the poor, knowing that doing so is a holy service to the Lord, always keep in mind, faith matters.